I mean, developing uh, supercomputers and supercomputing, uh, that, that's right up there at the forefront of this whole confrontation between, I have to say, the, the West and China over uh, tech supremacy, who's going to rule for the next, I don't know, century or more, right? And even though you don't suffer from any supply chain problems right now because it's not as though people are lining around the corner uh, to buy a quantum computer, it's going to be important, right? Absolutely. And I think what Tree was getting at is, look, with the new restrictions, U.S. restrictions on access, uh, giving China access to certain chip technologies, are you guys going to get caught in the middle? I mean, the chips that you use or the stuff that you use, does any of it or does a lot of it actually involve, uh, is it created with, with U.S. gear, U.S. tooling? So, so what we, we have a pretty close relationship with the U.S., right, uh, okay. Fujitsu, right? And, and there's a very close relationship between the Japanese government and, and, and the U.S. government. Uh, they work very, very close. So I think for us it is actually... Uh, that uh, it's actually in a positive way. Uh, you know, we get a lot of interest from uh, customers, uh, which which we did not before. Uh, from, a, from, for example, a networking gear, a computing gear, right? So, uh, and, and we see. Uh, so you're so, not going to get caught in the middle of this. So we won't. Okay. I mean, for us, it will be positive. Right. Yes. What does this? What is the value proposition? So, uh, for clients, if they onboard quantum computers, what does it do to? Uh, productivity levels. So, so obviously, you know, quantum computing has the potential to change uh, uh, this, uh, the computing world on a massive level, right? I mean, you you can solve problems like in, in molecular dynamics, in, in finance, in medicine, uh, uh, things that you can't even, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like Shor's algorithm or, or traveling salesman problem. I mean, these are optimization problems uh, that that are not easy to solve, or, or in fact, sometimes intractable on, on traditional compute. And, and that, what that helps is that uh, you, new medicines, uh, environmental issues, right, uh, that even supercomputers find intractable. But we also see the world is not going to be a binary, like it's all going to be quantum, or it's all going to be uh, traditional computing. We see a world where both uh, traditional compute, uh, uh, what you call HPC, high-performance computing, and, and quantum computing coexisting.